This is UNAIDS. Imagine that HIV testing was just as easy as testing for pregnancy. Well, now it may be. In the US last year, the FDA approved a test that you buy over the counter at a pharmacist and you take home and test yourself for HIV in the privacy of your own home. The studies that I looked at this month were two reviews of approaches to self-testing. These were the first studies to really collect together all the examples of work that has been done looking at the feasibility, the acceptability, the accuracy and the pros and cons of such testing methods. 12,000 participants were included in these studies, largely it must be said from the rich parts of the world with a rather small number being included from resource poor settings where the tests of course might have a real impact. The exciting thing that these studies show is, is that people prefer this sort of testing um, and, and they're very acceptable. They're accurate, although as might be expected, they're not 100% accurate and therefore people will need to consider the need for repeat testing before they actually take decisions about healthcare based on them. People have worried that these tests might be used coercively and there was no evidence of that in, in these surveys. The final point is that unfortunately these studies were not able to look at linkage into care, so we don't know what proportion of the people who tested finally ended up in HIV care services. HIV self-testing could be a revolution for the HIV response. Sadly, 50% of people living with HIV don't know their HIV status um, and an even smaller proportion have been tested within the last year. This means that people can't make responsible decisions about getting into treatment and care, but clearly more research is still needed. In particular, we need more research in resource poor settings and we need to understand the impact on people's lives and the epidemic of introducing such tests more widely.